Hi guys, this is another part of our tutorial videos on ER Mountain software. Uh, in this part, I will show you how we can apply a uh, vegetation in the case using uh, ER Mountain, of course, on satellite images. Uh, for this purpose, uh, first of all, I will open a new window and load an uh, image. You know, I said before in uh, uh, examples folder we have um, uh, another five folder folders and uh, in data type I have Lancer TM so this is Lancer TM or thematic mapper and we have a lot of examples and uh, for now I'll choose RGB 3 to 1 okay so this is uh, an RGB image with 3 to 1 color composition and to performing NDVI, uh, NDVI by the way is the abbreviations of normalized uh, differences vegetation in, uh, index. So uh, to per performing NDVI, uh, I should go to toolbars and you know we have two toolbars which contain the NDVI. Uh, the first one is forestry and the second one is um, remote sensing okay so uh, so we have uh, uh, two uh, NDVI functions uh, on these two, uh, two toolbars forestry and remote sensing and for now I'll just uh, uh, choose remote sensing okay so uh, if I want to click or uh, perform NDVI I just should click on the tree icon is highlight vegetation on remote sensing toolbar you know and it's not important what kind of algorithm I, that I have I, is uh, the important point is this the or the opnet algorithm should uh, contain band 4 NIR near infrared and band 3 this is the important point and it's not important how kind of algorithm is or uh, it is uh, because you know we have uh, RGB and I maybe I have um, a grayscale for example grayscale so I will perform uh, NDVI on the both images or both type of algorithm so for the first one I'll activate and I'll click on NDVI or highlight vegetation is you know highlight vegetation button on the or ER mapper is the button which um, you know supported with NDVI uh, vegetation index okay so if I click on it the uh, highlighted vegetation or the highlighted area the white areas uh, are vegetation so and you know uh, the other uh, are non vegetation so uh, this is the result of NDVI and if I click on the grayscale algorithm and click on highlight vegetation same thing will appear because uh, they are uh, same image uh, for same uh, area so if I go to algorithm and open algorithm you know this is for uh, the first one for RGB 3 to 1 you see we have a new layer named NDVI with uh, band combination we have band 4 and band 3 uh, uh, combine it together use it formula this is a, a formula for NDVI and if I click on the uh, grayscale algorithm I have same thing uh, same uh, new layer with two combined layer with a formula so it's same thing we have a uh, we can calling it uh, an automatic way for highlighting vegetation, uh, highlight vegetation uh, in AR mapper, and also I have a manual way to uh, by uh, write down the formula 
inside edit formula or formula editor. So, uh, if I go to this icon, it's E equal to MC square edit formula or formula editor, or uh, I have same icon on the uh, common functions edit formula is same thing. You know, this is edit formula window. Um, in the first section, you know, we have a, a formula. This is the uh, default formula of LDDI. Uh, I1 minus I2 divided by I1 plus I2. I1 is input 1 is band 4 or NIR and band 2 is band, uh, uh, sorry, input 2 is for band 3 or red, okay, red band in, uh, of course, Landsat thematic matter or uh, these two bands should have these wavelengths, okay, 0.83 and 0.66 micrometer. So, uh, what if I put or write this equation manually? It's same thing, okay? Uh, I'll close this one, close this one, and this one, and I'll open a new window with a new image. And if I want to uh, write uh, or apply the NDVI manually, I should uh, choose a grayscale. Okay, grayscale algorithm, not an RGB, because we have uh, another uh, type of algorithm for the same area. But I should choose a grayscale if I want to uh, input NDVI manually. So I'll choose this one and go to Formula Editor right here or here and write down the formula of NDVI, which is, uh, I should uh, start by a bracket, I1 minus I2, close the bracket, divided by, open the bracket, I1 plus I2. So, um, if you notice, you have um, brackets right here, uh, you know, because it's a mathematical process and you should uh, put uh, brackets uh, uh, upside and downside uh, of the formula or of the ratio, because it's ratio. So if you don't put the brackets, you know, the uh, division uh, process will perform uh, before the uh, you know, subtraction uh, process. And of course, it's wrong. So you should uh, put the bracket uh, if you uh, write uh, NDVI formula or any digitation or any um, kind of indices. So this is our um, equation and I'll click on apply changes. And another important point you should uh, remember it is specification of our inputs. We have input 1 and input 2. In input 1, you should select band 4 and in input 2, you should, uh, you should select a band 3. Okay, uh, and if you notice, uh, if after I uh, selecting or specifying the input 1 and input 2, uh, the apply changes is not active. So I should uh, click here and uh, you know type a space on a keyboard you know apply changes uh, now is active so I'll click on apply changes now is ready and uh, this is a result of NDVI uh, you see a black screen or a black window it's normal you should go to edit transform limits this icon or this button and go to limits and choose limits to actual. There you go. And also choose these templates. Okay. So now this is the same result of uh, NDVI, but uh, I just uh, writing it manually. And we have also 
uh, ready uh, button for MVVI or for highlighting vegetation. So, uh, you know, uh, the MVVI um, result or output should contain a value from uh, minus 1 to 0, one, uh, to, to plus 1. Uh, so, if you check the values, sorry, if you check the values, uh, you know, the value still, uh, value still is uh, the same value, you know, 0 to 255. So, uh, you should uh, save the output or the results of the NDVI. For uh, saving the um, output of NDVI, I should go to File, uh, just say As, and uh, select any area and any name, and you should, the files of type or types of file, uh, you should select ER, not a raster dataset, dot ERS. Don't forget that. Okay, click OK, and you know, we have another open window save as the data dataset. In output, uh, select multi layer, and in data type, you know, is uh, data type is uh, deal with uh, deals with uh, the uh, pixel value of the output. So for NDVI, I should select I triple E um, four byte real. This uh, system is you know. Uh, is suitable for NDVI results because, because it com, uh, combined the binary and decimal uh, system together. So I choose this one, IEEE 4 by real and you have a new value section. You can uh, write 0 or uh, minus 99 or any value you want to uh, make the null or the bleeding uh, that or those pixels okay you have width and height of the image 500 by 500 pixels pixel width 30 by 30 and another important point is delete output transform uh, you should if you select i triple a4 by real you should check this checkbox okay because if you don't check it, the uh, all pixel values will transform to 0 to 255 or 8-bit uh, system. So you should check this if you uh, select I triple A4 by real. And click OK. I have another file for the right. Okay. So save as data set by this name okay. so if i closing this and this and open my new result then with the i test or test MVI. there you go this is my new image or uh, the results of the NDVI and if I check uh, the values you see I have the values or value range from minus 1 to 0 1 or 0 and to plus 1 okay so this is the result of NDVI and uh, you can perform it uh, on any satellite image um, either using the uh, automatic way and of uh, writing down the formula uh, manually.